Well hello guys Pokeplay and today I'm back for another video and today's video is going to be another top 5 video and it has been a while since I uploaded but that's because I'm pretty busy with school, I had a really busy uh, weekend and it was just pretty busy, I didn't have the time to do it but here it is the second video of our um, RU tier of the tier of the RU tier that I'm discussing in our mini series top 5 of all the tiers and in this series I am going to uh, go past all the tiers and Tell you guys what my top 5 favorites are and my top 5 and the top 5 best Pokemon in my opinion. And today we have the top 5 favorite Aryu Pokemon. And there is one particular Pokemon that I really like in the Aryu tier. And you guys probably know which Pokemon I am uh, thinking of right now. But let's just not spoil anything right yet. And let's go on to our number 5. Number 5. And the number 5 on my list is Kofagragus and Kofagragus is a Pokemon that I really enjoyed just all the time. I was really confused about its typing once uh, when I saw it for the first time because it was in the sand uh, tomb thing. I thought it was a, it was, it might have been a ground type but it wasn't, it's just a pure ghost type and I really like its design. It is one of the coolest designs in my opinion just because of those hands that stick out of the tomb. And just the tomb itself, it's really cool and I would love to see a Mega Covagragus Co and a mummy coming out of the tomb. I, I would really love to see that, that would be so amazing. That's why I love Covagragus so much. It is just a really cool, um, a, a cool design and it is pretty darn good. But that's not what this video is about, it's just why I like these Pokemon. And it's just because of its amazing design and... Just how, 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 yeah, it's just how it looks. So let's go on to our number four. Number four. And the number four on my list is Ferrician. And Ferrician is a pretty special Pokemon. I, it is the favorite, it's my favorite uh, goat of the three legendary goats. I just don't know why. I personally prefer grass types Pokemon over a lot of types. It is one of my favorite types. Either it's going to be grass or normal. I like both types really a lot. And uh, Ferrishon is one of those really cool looking uh, Pokemon in my opinion. I also like it because you never really know what to expect from a Ferrishon. It can go special, it can go physical. And especially because it's a fighting type that makes it special. Being special even more special. Because most fighting types are physical attackers. Which makes Ferrishon really special. And that's why I really like it. Uh, it's a shame that it got back to RU, it was uh, NU for a moment, but it is RU right now and I still think it was pretty good in NU, but it was not broken in my opinion, but I haven't played NU in that time, it was in there, I didn't play it that much at, at the time, so I'm not totally sure at how broken it was, but it was a really cool Pokemon, I really, I still enjoy Verizion every time I see it, I think it's such a m mystical Pokemon to see. A really cool Pokemon and that's just my number four. So let's go on to the number three. Number three. And the number three on my list is Meloetta. And Meloetta is just a gorgeous looking Pokemon. Looking at its design right now. I really like that it's based on a singer. or Based on something that uh, involves singing. Which is really cool. I really like that. And it's just that it has an amazing design. But that's all of the Pokemon that I'm uh, that are in these lists that's why I like most of these Pokemon but Meloetta also has some special things like um, the the possibility of it can being physical or special with the move Relic Song. Relic Song is uh, I'm not sure how much base power I think it's 70 or 80 base a normal type move that um, makes Meloetta transform into a fi fighting psychic type which is really cool it gets access to things like close combat and stuff like that and I also like using the um, assault vest Meloetta with charge beam uh, and some coverage moves it's really good I really like Meloetta just the design and the just that you can do a lot of things with it and it's just a really cool Bowman in the RU tier number two and the number two on my list is Quillfish. And Quillfish is one of those Pokemon that I really think that, that, that deserves to go down, in my opinion. Hitmonchan was one of those Pokemon as well, but Hitmonchan did go back in or go down into NU. And I feel like Quillfish deserves to be there as well. I never see it used in RU teams like ever because it's just 
I feel like it it doesn't it doesn't have enough power or an, enough bulk to stand a chance in the RU2, which is really fortunate. It it does have some pretty good abilities with uh, Swift Swim and uh, Intimidate and Poison Point as well, but that's the ability you will use the least amount of times on Quillfish. And it is a pretty decent uh, defensive wall with the Intimidate and uh, a good typing, the Water uh, Poison typing, which is really good. As you can see, uh, or as you know from uh, Tentacruel, which is also a really good wall, but that's in our UU. And I'll mention that maybe in the next videos, in the next top 5 video, but Quillfish is a really darn good mon, but it's just not good enough for the RU tier in my opinion. That's why it deserves to go down, and that's why I feel like Quillfish is one of my favorite Pokemon, just because it was that forgotten Pokemon that just nobody knew about in the... Um, Second gen, I think it, that's where it came from. It's just a really cool Pokemon. I quite like its design. It's, I don't like its design as much as the other Pokemon on this list, but it's still a really cool Pokemon. It has some good things like Thunder Wave, Spikes, Taunt, Swift Swim. It, you can do a lot of things with Quillfish. That's what I really enjoy about it. And let's go on to our number one. Number one. And the number one on my list is, of course, the Amber Palm. And today you guys are going to hear and listen at why I'm loving Amber Palm so much. I'm not sure how long I'm going to ramble about this because I really love Amber Palm. It's my favorite Pokemon of all time. I'm not sure why. Well, I am sure why because there are just so many cool things about Amber Palm. I really like its competitive usage with the Technician Fake Out combination, which destroys a lot of non bulky months, a lot of things that don't resist a uh, normal type moves but i just love ambipom because of its design and it always smiles if you look at ambipom it just always smiles and that's what i enjoy about it it ambipom just always makes me happy when i look at it it has a good vibe around it 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 just oh man i always love ambipom apom as well that's are just two really cute pokemon that i just enjoy and that's why ambipom is my mascot just the purple color, I also really like that. It's just that purple monkey around that you will never, that you always enjoy being around with. I would love to have an Ember Palm as a Pokemon for myself, just at home, just to have a buddy around, just to help you out with things that are too high up. He just picks it up with his tail, which is really cool. With his tail hands, I really enjoy it. I just love Ember Palm's design as well. Those tail hands are just so gorgeous. It's just Amber Palm, my favorite Pokemon, and you guys, you guys know why now. I I just love Amber Palm so much. Oh man, Amber Palm, my favorite Pokemon. So those were my top five favorite are you Pokemon, and I hope you guys enjoyed this list. Make sure to leave a like if you did, and the next video will be a uh, I think a video about the playoffs of the NUCL. I did manage to get into the playoffs, as you guys might have known. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last NUCL video, but I'm going to show you guys my my playoffs battles, which is really cool. But this was my top 5 favorite RU Pokemon uh, video. Let me know if you liked it. And let me know what your top 5 favorite RU Pokemon are. And then I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, later.